Note wise is amazing. Imagine collaborating in real time on handwritten notes with multiple users. Yep, that is possible. This unique feature sets Notewise apart from all the other note taking apps. I'll also be sharing a very useful feature that only a few note taking apps offer. Don't miss out as in this video, we are diving deep inside the incredible features of Notewise that will help you elevate your productivity to the next level. My name is Prithviraj and I create videos on productivity, tech and life. I'll be sharing my own experience using Notewise and I'll also be pointing out the areas of improvement inside this app. So big thanks to Notewise for sponsoring this video. Rest assured, everything I'm gonna share today is based on my personal experience. So let's get started. First things first, let us talk about the user interface of Notewise. If you have ever used other note taking apps like GoodNotes, then the UI will feel very familiar. Everything is laid out right in front of you. Simplicity is often the most important aspect in any note taking app and Notewise, well, it excels in that aspect. You can toggle between the board view or the list view as per your liking and as per organization, you can access all your notes from the left hand panel over here and you can also tag your notes in order to organize them based on different categories. And of course, we can create folders inside Notewise for better organization of our notes. So if you're a student, you can very easily categorize your notes into different folders based on different subjects. And one thing I need to point out, I would have really appreciated if we were able to access all our folders from the left hand panel that we have. That would really smooth things out and help us switch between multiple nodes very easily. As of now, we can do that, but I hope this small feature gets added in a future update. But as of today, all our folders lie here on the homepage and we can access them from there. All right, the notes segment has got that minimalist vibe. It has a very straightforward layout and we can change the page layout as per our liking. You can choose from different options such as ruled, grid or dotted. They also offer templates for sheet music and guitar tabs. And we can of course change the page color to black cause dark mode is simply better. While inside a note, you can simply put pull down to create a new page, else you can even pull upwards to create a new page at the start in case you missed anything. These gestures can be super useful to speed up your workflow. We can access all the pens, colors and other tools from this top bar and we also get some quick toggles for switching between different pen sizes and colors. Among the pen options, we have three different pens that we can choose from. We can choose between the fountain pen, ball pen and the brush pen. We also get various line and stroke options on top of that. I personally like the ball pen more as I don't really want my pen to get smudged. I prefer a more even right. When I was at school, I really had this bad habit where I used to hold my pen really firmly. Hence, I put more pressure and my ugly handwriting looked even more uglier. If you're like me, then don't worry. Over here in Notewise, you won't be facing this issue. We can manually adjust the pressure sensitivity as per our liking and this is a great addition to be honest. Also, my favorite feature from GoodNotes is now available on Notewise as well. So while writing, when you make a mistake, you can simply scribble on it and it will erase that for you. This is much more convenient than having to switch to the eraser tool and this makes the overall note taking experience really fast as switching to the eraser tool multiple times can be a real bus kill and on top of that it's super satisfying to scribble over things when you make mistakes before we talk about all the other cool features let us talk about the basics first and that's also the most important aspect of any note taking app how is the overall writing experience i personally found the writing experience really smooth it had a very low latency while writing using the apple pencil the latency aspect often varies based on your device's performance I had a minimal amount of latency on my iPad Pro, but here on my iPad 10 Gen, it was slightly more noticeable after using my iPad Pro that is. But that's not really a deal breaker as you can see. The writing experience is still very smooth and as usual, please get a mask screen protector for your iPad if possible. That's definitely gonna improve your overall writing experience by miles and it will make you feel as if you're writing on real paper and not on glass. All in all, the writing experience felt very natural I must say. Here's a demo of me writing random stuff. As you can see, I'm not really facing any issues as such. It's all natural and smooth. You can also adjust the stabilization of your writing on top of that. We have the slider under the pen options using which we can adjust the stabilization. This will make it easier for you to draw stable and smooth curves, for example in maths functions or maybe while drawing a neuron. I was actually pretty good at drawing neurons to be honest. And before you comment, yes, it has palm rejection. Take a look at it for yourself. Also, it offers us drawing assets for drawing different shapes. So when you need to draw some shapes or simply draw random lines for example, it will automatically snap it accurately. Else you can also choose between the ready-made shapes that we have from this tool. The sine wave kind of reminds me of my college days to be honest and I don't really want to study them again. Bruh. Also we can take text-based notes over here. We have the text tool for that and it also provides us with various font and text formatting options to choose from. Notewise also offers keyboard support so you can definitely connect your Apple Magic keyboard or any Bluetooth keyboard for that aspect. Take a look at the delete animation. Like it gives me the old iPhone vibes where we had to like slide to unlock our iPhone. This way we 
we won't actually delete any notes accidentally and also the delete animation is super satisfying after the new update we also have this ruler tool so in case you needed a ruler inside your notes then you can get that as well you can of course import media inside this app one thing i really like is that it gives you this carousel view when you try to import photos this can help you navigate quickly you can also long press to paste over here one thing i really found interesting is that you can also crop or even remove the background of your photos just by selecting it that's a neat little feature i must say it can come in super handy when you need it and also you can lock them in their position so that you don't move them around accidentally notwise has this segment called the library tool let's say there is a diagram that you might have to draw again and again across your notes or maybe you doodle the sticky notes kind of thing you can simply select the lasso tool that we have and add it to your library now from the library tab we can simply drag and drop it inside our notes as many times as we want this will again help us speed up our repetitive task you can also scan documents like your question papers and stuff within this app and of course you can import pdfs inside notewise that way you can easily import your class assignments or your entire workbook for that matter and directly take book notes straight inside this app and we also have this pointer tool as well as the highlighter tool so in case you wanted to quick read your notes then you can simply use the pointer tool for that aspect and also mark or highlight important stuff using the highlighter tool just don't end up highlighting the entire book like me we can also add audio recordings inside notewise hence in case you wanted to record the entire class lecture along with your notes then you can do that here else you can simply record any vital information that you might need in a voice note so yeah this really comes in handy and as usual i have imported my daily planner template over here before this i was using samsung notes to plan my day but for the past two weeks i've been like planning my day here in notewise and to be honest the time blocking method really helps me a lot it really helps me stay accountable and productive and get my job done at the end of the day at the start of the video i had mentioned there is one feature that only a few note taking apps offer as much as i can remember i think it was notability who offers this feature and there might be a few more but to my knowledge it's notability and it is the ability to create split screen multitask right within the app we can do that natively inside notewise simply press on the three dots beside the note you would like to open and then click on this option called to open in new window this can be really helpful for comparing notes or simply recalling something that you might have written in a previous note if i was still a student i would have used this feature for solving sample question papers and assignments and stuff like that but the biggest standout feature of notewise is the fact that we can do real time collaboration on this app if you have used google docs before then you might know what i'm talking about two or more people can work on a note simultaneously and make edits in real time we can do the same here but the cherry on top is that we can do the same with handwritten notes as well this feature isn't seen on other apps as of now here's a live demo as you can see whatever i'm writing using my ipad pro is getting updated here on my ipad 10 in real time this can be really useful for working on those group projects but one thing i must point out there can be a bit of delay while working on projects real time so yeah please keep that in mind as this thing will come down to your network strength and latency before we talk about the pricing let us talk about the availability of this app as of today you can only use notewise on your ipad as well as on your android tablets we don't have any app for windows or mac in case you wanted a true cross-platform experience we of course can view our notes on the web using notewise cloud but it's not the same as having a native app maybe we can expect that in a future update as well as to be honest a true cross-platform experience will feel very welcoming for users like myself now let us talk about the pricing of this app the primary limitation of the free version of notewise is that we are only limited to 10 notes and some of the advanced features are also missing but the good thing is that you can buy notewise with a one-time payment they also offer a subscription plan but we'll talk about that in a moment here is a screenshot of all the notewise plans in usd the one-time payment of notewise unlimited here in india is currently at rupees 1299 you get the full version of this app at this price pay once and you're done in the notewise unlimited version it will sync all your notes using icloud hence you'll be able to access them throughout all your apple devices and same for the android devices it will get synced via the cloud and you can access them across all your android devices however you will have to miss out on the real-time collaboration feature if you decide to get the notewise unlimited plan as in the one-time payment option you only get access to the real-time collaboration feature once you subscribe to notewise cloud also you only get the cross-platform sync between devices only if you get the notewise cloud plan as in if you wanted to use notewise on your android tablet as well as on your ipad then you have to get the monthly subscription there are two options that we have for 1 gb of notewise cloud storage you'll have to pay rupees 199 monthly and for 10 gigs of notewise cloud storage you'll have to pay rupees 399 every month so as far the pricing is concerned it will come down to your needs now
now. If you just needed a great note taking app for a single device and you won't be needing the real time collaboration feature, then you should just get the one time payment option. Else, if you need cross platform ability or the real time collaboration feature, then the Notewise Cloud is definitely the way to go. And for the most part of this video, I have been using my iPad 10 Gen and I must say, the budget iPad works really great. Click here on this video to check out if the iPad 10 Gen is still worth buying in 2024. Thanks for watching and I'll see you there.